That branch right there needs to be taken out. Oops. Now we get rid of all that vertical. And those few little water shoots there, about six or seven of them need to come out. And then I'd have a flat top and the sun would get in here. You see this open center in here? This branch is going out. That branch is going out. That branch is going out. And this branch was going out. It's a little vertical. But then that branch came out and I should have taken it off a long time ago. And this was the main branch. And I would have these two going out. And see this one's going back toward the center. And that's what's causing me the problem. Because I didn't take this out about 10 or 12 years ago. You can see right up at the top of that where I took that one out. And that made everything go right that way. And then I can always clean out the insides. Now I haven't pruned much on this tree this year. I pruned a lot last year. I do have a serious problem here where this branch was taken off several years ago. It is uh, deteriorated on the inside and eventually it'll rot enough and I'll probably lose this entire branch and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get something and fill this up, a compound that would harden like uh, fiberglass just to keep the water out of it. And then I'm going to cut this one off a little cleaner. You can see that collar line. Well defined there. I need to just cut that off. Outside that collar line. This I don't think is too deep. In fact. See I'm hitting something there. I could just maybe cut it off here. But it's better to follow that line. But this thing here see. I'm hitting soft stuff. And water. That will get in there and kill that entire branch. I'm going to have to plug that hole up if I have to put a cork in it. Larger ones and cut the smaller ones out or any of them that have a defect on them. But if you don't do that, it will, it will knock off uh, viable apples with uh, seeds, pollinated fruit, because it knows it can't carry that many apples. Now a cluster like this you might have to do something about it because it's a dozen apples that close and it shouldn't be but two or three and it will drop the ones it doesn't need but it'll drop all the ones that weren't pollinated they're formed but they will never have seeds in them and so the tree just discharges them to the ground it's called June drop and sometimes you can come out here and you think you don't have an apple left on the tree and sometimes it takes too many because it will try to drop fruit if it's got too many on it. It's sort of a touch and go thing. Uh, big nurseries will go in and actually slice on it to see what kind of pollination rate they had. And because if you start thinning this fruit now, and then you, in June, when you come to do the drop, it might not do it because of too much fruit, but it's gonna drop all those that weren't pollinated. So you might not end up with any apples on here. It's really a touchy little situation of how you want to do it. And the best way they do it is slice it in half to get an estimate of a pollination rate. And then they know how many is going to fall naturally. And they can take the rest off accordingly. But this tree is carrying way too many apples. Look how much the branches are leaning. And it doesn't even have the heavy fruit on it yet.